Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 22 video. In today's episode, we're gonna be rebuilding the Minnesota Vikings, but with the new addition of Zadarius Smith, who absolutely scammed me. Sheldon Richardson should not be on this team. He should be a free agent. This is my rosters, by the way, so you guys should definitely look into these. And yes, even though Sheldon Richardson was the guy that I missed before, he's still in free agency right now. These are all the free agents from my roster, Tyron Matthews, Stephon Gilmore, Bobby Wagner, Gronk, Fletcher Cox, Akeem Hicks, Calais Campbell. These are all the updated free agents. I update this basically almost every like four hours or so. Anytime I see a signing or anything like that. So let me know down in the comments below if you have any specifics like roster needs or anything, because I can just put my link on how to get these rosters at the top of the comments, I'll just pin it for you guys. So anyways, guys, apart from that, we're gonna be rebuilding the Vikings. And as a Ravens fan, I was quite annoyed that Zadarius Smith did um not sign with the Ravens. He just pulled out of the deal. And for those guys saying, oh, with your roster and the free agents, there's some guys that you're missing. If they're like some guys that are basically almost irrelevant to the NFL, then I won't notice them. So like if Everson Griffin, I believe, might be a free agent as well, then I'm not really gonna worry about him. Is it his final year on his deal? I think it is here. View in depth chart. I don't think they gave him a contract extension either. I think, yeah, this is his final year. So he shouldn't even be on this team anyways. He's a free agent in real life, I believe. I don't, I don't think he got a roster, not a roster, a contract signing. We can't release him because of the restriction that I put on players for AD overall. So I'll just move him down to the bottom for now. And looking at the secondary, it kind of sucks. Cam Dantzler is here, and that's kind of about it. I mean, Harrison Smith is good, but he's on his way out because of age. And yeah, Zadarius Smith is a nice addition for the Vikings. I haven't done a Vikings rebuild since, I believe, October. So this is cool for you Viking fans. I don't care if Kirk Cousins got a recent signing of one year with $3 million deal. I don't care. I'm moving on to the future. Kellen Mond is going to be our starter. I'm going to do what every Vikings fans want, and that is to move on to the future. I know some of you guys be like, oh, Kirk Cousins is a top 15 QB. I can agree with that. He's not a top 10, but I can agree that he's a top 15 QB. But at the same time, it's like, this is Madden, and I'm looking towards the future. Kellen Mond is going to be our future. So that's what we're rocking with. In today's episode, I'm going to be rocking with vertical zone run as always. And I'm going to rock with four three quarters in New England's playbook and see how that works out for our defensive side of the ball. I don't expect their passing defense to be good considering it sucks. But um, yeah, anyways, guys, apart from that, it is now time to move in to the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are three and three second in the division behind the five and two Packers. Looks like our defense is what's holding up, but our offense is not as we were 25th in points per game. But our defense is 13th in points per game. So that's sick. That's a good thing. I'm going to choose a tra draft class. and I'm obviously going to import uh, my ultimate draft class with Aiden Hutchinson, Evan Neal, stuff like that as the draft is coming up, of course. So anyways, now we're going to see breakout QB. No, because that's not like an actual breakout QB challenge, which would give him a dev up, which I'd be sick with, but it's not an actual one. So I'm not going to worry about that. D.D. Westbrook, uh, Mackenzie Alexander. So in real life, if D.D. Westbrook is an actual free agent and he's on this team, I'm sorry. I can't nail down each and every individual free agent. I've nailed down a lot of them, but this is what I can. And everyone else here, just everyone here is just a no. I don't want any of those guys from my free agents class. So it's now time to move into the playoffs. Here we are at the end of the season as we are 7-10, third in division. And it looks like our defense just sucked terribly so it looks like i'm going to immediately change the scheme because our defense just magically started playing horrible at the second half of the season and i'm gonna go with not the raiders i want to try the saints defensive playbook because i gotta keep trying these defensive playbooks i used to i had miami's which used to work but now it's not really doing so well as our offense picked up at the second half of the season stats and awards here let's see what we got kellen mond was great in yards not really that good in touchdowns 13th best offense and 30th best defense, yikes. 4,600 yards, 29 TDs, 13 interceptions. Dalvin Cook, 15 TDs, 4.5 per carry, 1,100 yards, great season. JJ, 1,300 yards, 6 TDs. Adam Thielen, 9 TDs, 1,100 yards. DD Westbrook, 957 yards and 7 TDs. Looking at it defensively, Eric Hendricks, 129 tackles, tackles for a loss. 16 for Daniel Hunter, sacks, 17 for Zadarius Smith, great year, interceptions. 
a three for Mackenzie Alexander, safeties, one for Harrison Phillips, and one defensive touchdown for Cam Dantzler. So anyways, guys, apart from that, it is now time to move in to the offseason. And the Bengals and Mike Hilton win Super Bowl MVP against the Cowboys. Thank God the Cowboys didn't win another Super Bowl in the simulation. And there are no Vikings here for the yearly awards. So we are going to go into the roster here to see if there is any development upgrades. Kellen Mond, I hope I star. He does not. I mean, his touchdowns weren't that impressive. But if you are top, like what was that, top four for passing yards? I think you should at least get star dev. Come on now. He was a rookie. Kellen Mond, he should get star dev. Dude was a beast for his yards, not his touchdowns, but come on, dude. He was a rookie and he put up those kind of numbers. So this is what we got here. And yeah, this is the offensive line. It looks pretty solid so far. And JJ and Thielen, there, yeah, there's no other upgrades. I was just making sure everyone was good. I think, Vigil, yeah, Nick Vigil gets star dev, but he's not gonna be re-signed because he's old. And everyone else here is the same. That's unfortunate. Really unfortunate upgrades. I have to forcefully upgrade Kellen Mond. And we're going to move into the re-sign players here. I don't think there is anyone I want to re-sign in the first place. So I'm not even going to worry about that. And um, yeah, let's see what else we have here as we're going to go into the 2021 retirements for the NFC North, I believe it is. And nobody retired in the NFC North. So that's cool, I guess. Players ready to negotiate. Let's see who we have here. Um, no to everyone here. I just don't want anyone there. I'm going to skip out on free agency in this first season because there's a lot of free agents that just get scattered around and it kind of messes up the roster if I were to go in and acquire some of these players. Like, I don't want to sign someone in free agency, then in real life they go sign with like the Bears or the Lions or something and it not happen in real life. So this first season, I'm just going to skip out on free agency and just simulate the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up Trent McDuffie. He only has normal dev, but he's 95 speed out of Washington. I think we desperately need a DB, so it's not a horrible pick, but it's unfortunate that he doesn't have a development trait. In the second round, I'm picking up Jarrett Patterson, center, and he looks pretty solid overall. He's out of Notre Dame. Good stuff. I'm going to move him to offensive guard. And in the third round, I'm picking up Arnold I Ibikatai. I, I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm just going to call him Arnold out of Penn State, hidden dev, left outside linebacker. Here we are after the draft, as it looks like Jarrett Patterson is a 68 overall, but he is a 69 at offensive guard. Nice. So I will move him over to offensive guard and it will be better for us long term, especially since he has that development and Kellen Mond has his solidified offensive line here. So I'm going to move him up. Kirk Cousins was only supposed to be on a one year deal with us, so I am going to cut him. It, it says cap penalty. It really doesn't matter. I'm not going to worry about that that too much. And why did it do that? I hate it how it shifts people over from the positions I told them not to shift them over. So why is, okay, so this guy named Cole Turner is playing right guard whenever I asked. I'm gonna cut Wyatt Davis just so that way I can have Patterson here because it's quite annoying how the CPU just adjusts things without, you know, telling me really. It just goes, yeah, sure, that's what we're gonna do. Anyways, this is what the offensive line looks like. It looks very good now. Adam Thielen has regret, yeah regress quite a bit defensively looking into it it looks like we have 67 overall at left outside linebacker but that's better than the other ones apparently the cpo picked up this jones guy mcduffie is a 74 overall so he's not even bad and um looking at the specialist here we have adam thielen mcduffie's gonna start in the slot Dalvin tomlinson i'm gonna start with phillips and offensively yeah we're looking pretty good overall we have the New England Saints playbook, and we should be all good. So anyways, guys, apart from that, it is now time to move in to the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark coming off a loss to the football team as we are three and four. What is our defense? It's the problem. All right. Oh, I need to find a good defensive playbook because EA is just like, no. And oh, start Kellen Mond. It re-signed Kirk Cousins from free agency. That's so stupid. I hate that. I hate this game with a driving passion sometimes. Let's go to base 4-3. Let's try and hit Cincinnati's playbook. And yeah, let's try that. I'm cutting Kirk Cousins again. I, I hate that. Like, this is the thing that I literally just talked about. I said, don't sign a bunch of stupid quarterbacks and just sign a bunch of players and then not start the starters that I want to start. It's so annoying. 
Now, Kellen Mond isn't going to have a good season because he doesn't have proper stats. Tyrod Taylor is going to be your second string QB. He's just going to bounce around again. So annoying that the CPU does this. Anyways, players ready to negotiate. Let's see who we have here. We have Garrett Bradbury. Um, yeah, I do want to re-sign you. You're a pretty solid player. He re-signs. Uh, Alexander Madison, yeah, that's actually a pretty cheap deal. So I will re-sign you. He re-signs. Dalvin Tomlinson, you're aggressing, so no. Irv Smith, yes, please. You have development and you're stupid cheap and you're young, so you're being re-signed. Uh, Thomas Morstead, everyone else here is a no. So apart from that, guys, it is now time to move in to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs, finishing 8-9, and nine, bottom of the division as the Lions take the division. Something you will never hear in your life as a human being. Anyways, our defensive points per game was 20th and our rushing defense was 9th. So I guess there's an improvement there and our defensive passing game is 27th. I mean, we still have a crappy secondary, but come on, man. Anyways, Kellen Mond was not good, obviously, because he only played half a season. 12th best offense, though. 23rd best defense. I think I'm going to rock with Cincinnati. 2,700 yards, 14 TDs, 8 interceptions. Okay. Devin Cook, 14 TDs, 5.1 per carry, 1,200 yards. Great season. Thielen, almost 1,300 yards, 11 TDs. Irv Smith, 6 TDs, 1,000 yards. JJ, 1,000 yards, 8 TDs. See, even though Thielen had a great season, they're still going to make him like an 80 overall. And defensively, Eric Kendrick, 136 tackles, tackles for a loss, 23 for Zadarius Smith, 12 sacks for Zadarius Smith, interceptions, 5 for Eric Kendricks. Safety, zero defensive touchdowns is one for Eric Kendricks. So anyways, guys, apart from that, it is now time to move in to the offseason. Here we are in the offseason as the Ravens and Marlon Humphrey win Super Bowl MVP. And there are no Vikings here for any awards beating the Packers in the Super Bowl. As a Ravens fan, I would love to see that. We are going to look into the team to see if there is any upgrades. Kellen Mond obviously stays the same because he didn't really play a full season. And defensively looking into it, this guy, Arnold, I believe it is. Yeah, Arnold has star dev. That's cool. Jones has superstar Marcus Jones, 5'8", okay, 185. Small frame, but he's going to start over McDuffie just because he has this, well, since he has kind of a smaller frame, I'm actually going to throw him back to free safety. I mean, I know safeties are supposed to have like a little bit of a bigger frame, but yeah, since he's like quick, yeah, I'll for sure do that. Move him back to free safety. 72 overall. McDuffie's going to be here. And yeah, cool. Anyways, guys, apart from that, it is now time to see who is in our resign players and the 2022 retirements for this season, I guess. Well, technically 2023, if we look at it from a future perspective with our free agency class and everything in the draft class. So 2022 retirements, basically 2023 retirements. NFC North, we have... Thomas Morstead, okay, our punter retires. That's cool. <laughs> uh, players are getting to negotiate. I wouldn't have resigned him anyways. Dalvin Tomlinson, everyone else here is a no. So apart from that, guys, how much money do we have to spend? 84 million, let's get to free agency. Here we are after the draft as I ended up picking up TJ Hawkinson. I know I just resigned Irv Smith, but this is another huge weapon for Kellen Mond. Bryce Callahan on a cheap deal. Jake Bailey on a cheap deal. Terry Slayton as a slot receiver maybe adam thielen will move back there and uh, rodrigo blankenship the goat specs anyways it's time to move into the draft in the first round i'm picking up chase morley normal dev out of new mexico state apparently the best player available type situation and i guess we could have used another linebacker here we are after the draft as it looks like the cpu picked up this howard guy luke howard 65 overall tight end interesting you probably won't even make the cut but um yeah that's what we're looking at like here Darius Slayton's gonna play in the slot I assume no Adam Thielen is I would actually like Slayton to play in the slot um Lynch 32 Jones is gonna not be the slot DB he's gonna be Trent McDuffie is gonna be the slot DB Cam Dantzler has superstar dev I didn't even realize that McDuffie is gonna be the slot Jones is gonna start at free safety Picks, die. Morley's a 65 overall. Talk about a bust, dude. Terrible pick by me. Yeah, that's just an L pick by me. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, um, yeah, we're looking pretty decent. We just need to develop a little bit more on the defensive side. Offensive side, obviously, Kellen Mon needs to develop. But apart from that, guys, it is now time to move in to the midseason mark. 
Here we are at the midseason mark as we are three and three, third in the division. Our defense is doing good, but our offense is doing bad. All right, then coming off a win to the Broncos, QB breakout players ready to negotiate. Let's see who we have here. We have Daniil Hunter. Of course, I'm going to want you back. Huge deal for you is coming in and inbound. Here he signs. Zadarius Smith. Yes, I would like you back as well. Huge player, and you're the key part of this rebuild technically. Here he signs. Eric Kendricks. Even though you're lower overall, I still want to resign you just because you have X Factor. Ezra Cleveland, yes, as well. I would like to resign you. And he resigns. Phillips, Ken Dantzler, I do want to resign you. You have Superstar Dev now, so that's huge. And that's a dumb cheap deal. Resigns. Everyone else here is just a no for me. So I think with that being said, I think Kellen Mond has had his chances to move this offense in this Tampa Bay's playbook. Now it's time to go back to letting Dalvin Cook carry the team. So we're going to move into, where is it? Baltimore or Cleveland's playbook? Baltimore. Let's go to Baltimore's playbook and get into a running scheme here. And let's have Dalvin Cook take the driver's seat on this. So anyways, guys, it's now time to move to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a win to the Chicago Bears. As we take the division at 12 and 5, this is what happens whenever you allow Dalvin Cook to take the driver's seat. And it looks like Packers finish 11 6. We're going to be playing them in the wild card round. Stats and awards. Let's see what we got here. Kellen Mond probably didn't. Yeah, he didn't do good because we're in a running scheme. 14th best offense in the league. Defensively, 23rd somehow. 3,600 yards, 26 TDs, 10 interceptions. Dalvin Cook, 19 TDs, 5.6 per carry, and 1,500 yards. Great season. TJ, yeah, not really impressed by any of these stats, but Kellen Mond was not in a passing scheme. Eric Hendricks, 120 tackles, tackles for a loss. 21 for Cesar Smith, sacks. 10 for Daniel Hunter, interceptions. 4 for Bryce Callahan. And yeah, nice. So we're going to stay in a running scheme, even though Kellen Mond hasn't really technically worked out. So we're going to stay in a running scheme, see if we can beat the Green Bay Packers with it. And move on to the divisional and we do 42 to 14 crushing them in the ground washington commanders can we beat them to move to the conference championship with dalvin cook no 34 to 17 the opposite of production what we had in the last game so anyways guys it's now time just to skip in to the offseason here we are in the offseason as the commanders win the super bowl against the broncos and russell wilson chase young wins super bowl mvp and there are no awards here for the Minnesota Vikings, unfortunately. We're gonna see if there is any development upgrades offensively looking into it. We are looking the exact same. Defensively looking into it. We are looking the exact same, except for Bryce Callahan, who has star dev now, which is cool. Adrian Phillips is an 85 overall. So apart from that, we're gonna move in to the re-signings. I'm gonna be targeting in free agency a defensive tackle if I can get one. And that's probably all I really want necessarily. My uh, other DB hasn't really panned out at free safety as we're going to be going into our fourth and final season. So let's see what we got here for the AFC, NFC North. Adam Thielen retires. That's actually kind of a good thing. We save some cap room here because I was honestly kind of planning on cutting him. Uh, Adrian Phillips, he's honestly the best we have right now. So we're gonna have to resign this. And he wants to play for a new team, so whatever. Everyone else here is a no. So apart from that, guys, it's time to move into free agency with $55 million to spend. Here we are after the free agency. We've got Chidabe Wuzie, Michael Pierce back to the Vikings, and Sebastian Joseph Day as we have solidified our defensive line completely. Now we're going to skip into the draft. In the draft, as my first round pick, Peter Murrett at pick 28, 5'8", 176, but 96 speed. He's going to be our slot wide receiver. And I honestly don't really care about my other picks, so let's get to the end of the draft. Here we are after the draft as Merritt is a 77 overall, A-plus pick. Let's go. Seems awesome. Seems like the Vikings are pretty good at picking up late-round wide receivers like JJ and this guy. But we are in a running scheme. So with that being said, I'm going to switch back into a passing scheme for our new receiver. And for those of you guys saying, oh my god, you are so successful in a running scheme, don't worry, it's not that much of a problem. We'll probably lose in the divisional round like we always do anyways. So let's just skip into the playoffs because we don't need the midseason mark. Here we are in the playoffs going 6-11. and 11. Thank you. Kellen Mond is the answer. <laughs> um, 
Okay, 18th best all. He, he was pretty good other than the touchdowns, which is what matters. Why is... Oh, my God. Can someone tell me a good defensive playbook? How do we have the worst defense in the NFL? It makes no logical sense. Makes no logical sense. 4,500 yards, 23 TDs, 18 receptions. Not a good season. Dalvin Cook, 22 TDs, 4.4... 4.4 per carry, 1,100 yards. Justin Jefferson, 1,000 yards, 4 TDs. And it looks like who had... Uh, oh, the rookie had 11 TDs. He had a great season. And defensively, Eric Hendricks, 131 tackles. Tackles for a loss. 18 for Daniel Hunter. Sacks, 10 for Daniel Hunter. 9 for Zadari Smith. Interceptions, 2 for Bryce Callahan. And safeties is 1 for Michael Pierce. Defensive touchdowns, 1 for Bryce Callahan. So if you guys have any good defensive playbooks in the comments, please let me know. I am, like, dying... Here, I'm trying so many defensive playbooks and they all just suck. So this is what the fourth and final overlook of the team is like. Not very impressive. But anyways, guys, apart from that, I thank you guys all for watching this rebuild, even though it was a total bust. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys all in the next one.